Hello everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking where today we are going to the Asheville Steakhouse to see a 96 ounce T-bone steak being cooked. Um, some lucky lady has won this in a competition that the Asheville ran and uh, she'll be picking it up shortly. So when I found this out, I couldn't help but ask if I could at least watch it being cooked and kindly they said yes, so I'm on my way now. I believe the steak is from Ruby and White on White Ladies Road in Bristol. Never actually been to that butcher, so keen to see what sort of quality comes from there. I am a huge, huge fan of a big steak. Last year, we did the uh, Beards versus Men. Beards versus Men? Beards versus Meat um, sort of episode where I cooked, I think it was three. Yeah, so I cooked three 96 ounce uh, T-bones. And I can tell you now that was stressful. And these guys, under normal conditions, do it every day. Now I've also heard um, that they don't use a thermometer when cooking. So that'd be interesting to see. I'm assuming they just use the power and years of experience probably. So yeah, I'm on my way. I'm looking forward to getting there and let's see what happens. privilege today to come in here. And there it is. So that's it then. Yes. That's just smoked salt. Yeah. It's a Cornish one. I think that's one of the best that I'm using lately. And the pepper. Thank you. 
What's it saying? Oh, it's saying it's almost ready. I'm just going to put it in a bit. Nice. Oh, it's not bad. That was absolutely brilliant to watch that. I am so hungry now, like so, so hungry. Whoever has won that piece of steak, I think is the luckiest person ever right now uh, because that looked absolutely bloody beautiful and I was dying to pick it up and just run with it if I'm honest. That was fantastic to watch, so amazing. As I said on the way over, not a single thermometer used. Um, it's a shame we couldn't cut it open and, and see it inside, but obviously that steak wasn't for, for us, for me. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be back and uh, I'm gonna be cutting open a 96 ounce T-bone, hopefully very soon, but uh, you need to look up the Asheville Steakhouse uh, because as I said, they are absolutely incredible. You can look up Dine at Home Bristol as well because that's the delivery service for the steaks that are still being done by the Asheville. So just because the, the physical restaurant is actually closed, um, they are still serving. They're doing a takeaway um, uh, service um, and uh, they'll deliver to you. But it's not like these um, these other startup firms that are sending you out all the raw ingredients and then you've got to cook it yourself. They will cook it all for you. And I can speak from experience because I've had it. It comes to you uh, at near restaurant quality. Um, obviously, there's, there's gonna be a slight difference because it's got to be delivered to you. But we live probably about 25 minutes from the restaurant itself. And I'm telling you now, it was near perfect. Um, I've never ever had a bad meal there. So thank you very much for having me and uh, hopefully I'll see everyone soon.